It has been an absolutely astounding night of football so far. Manchester United losing at home 6-1 against Spurs. Louis Saha played for both sides. Gary Stevens, of course, will be happy. Uh, your career never took you to Manchester United. You were at Tottenham all the way with Brighton thrown in for good measure as well. But so, Louis, I need to ask, how are you feeling right now? What's going through your head? I'm devastated for, for every fan of uh, United. I'm devastated because I think the, the players let themselves down. Um, the one that uh, could look uh, definitely um, to the performances, the defense, the organization, all this uh, went apart in the first half. But uh, after there, there is like, I would say like, um, there is nobody to actually help each other. It's like, oh, uh, someone's making a mistake, but then the other one's going to make the mistake. And there is actually not having help from whatever great goalkeeper or there is nothing. I mean, like from, from what I look um, at the, the, the overall situation. Um, yes. This performance is one of the worst I've seen. And in terms of like um, not giving up, but just like don't have that kind of mm -hmm. like solidarity. So as a, as a fan um, uh, has just, someone who tried to criticize. I'm not going to be harsh because it's only one performance, but this one is just not the standard uh, that you expect from any team from, let's say, the, the top five. I, I, I don't think that uh, they deserve to be uh, even like mentioned in this race because it's like, it's too much a gap. It's, it's way too much. Um, I'm, I'm just like really annoyed and embarrassed. Um, so I, I, I can't have it like the word because this is so deeply not what we are seeing or what we expect from uh, from this side, wherever people will talk, uh, I don't like to say that, but about the money they have invested or something like this, but just about the, the actual consistency or quality and uh, actual uh, the faces. You know, when I see some players like Bruno Fernandes are trying to actually do the pressing on his own in the midfield, I was, I was embarrassed. I, I mean, it. it's like, this is not good enough. No, you said just this result. But if you look back at the three league games they've played, including today, you mm. lost at home to Crystal Palace. You would probably argue that Brighton were the unlucky ones not to get at least a point against Manchester United last weekend. So it isn't just this game, is it? It's the entire league I campaign know. so far. Yeah, definitely. That's what I'm, it's like, I don't know. At first I said, oh, maybe... It's because it, it looks like it's uh, heavy precision. You feel like maybe the legs are heavy and they will kind of like increase, uh, like feeling better, feeling lighter and get more expired. There is like obviously a few signing will come and all those things that like you say, it's up and when you grab points, it's, it's okay. But you, you, you can't just rely on a few players. You have a, like that kind of system or, or that resilience or trying to do the extra bit. You have to be a bit more than what you are expecting to do and I don't see that where I'm saying like someone is making a mistake the one next to it is going to do it as well and and there is no reaction no one is going to grab the shirt and say that's not good enough there is no reaction where I'm saying who's going to be actually unhappy about the situation I can't imagine working be in this field I mean like <laughs> you can see it as uh, a pundit now but uh that's not good enough. I mean, like uh, the reaction was not good enough. Um, I've seen things that it just like around the same. Yes, of course, like three, four games is not enough to maybe kill a team. But this, in terms of like Sino, are really worrying, really badly. Did anybody deserve to wear the shirt for you for Manchester United today? Was there one person that stands out at yeah, least in positive light? <laughs> Yes, let's say that uh, you could see that maybe some players try and I don't, like I said, I don't kill players. You know, you have uh, your bad days. Let's say as a unit, yes, that's unacceptable. You know, to pick a player and say, oh, yes, you had a bad day, it happens. So I, I've been a player, so I won't do that, you know. Obviously, uh, th th there is moments in life you have to pick your chances. Whoever, like, you feel like you, maybe it was an opportunity, you have to take it. Today, any player should have like look at uh, this as an opportunity to do better because the three, four games before it was really bang average, and 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 that's that's not good enough. Even if you score a goal today, Bruno Fernandes, whoever will be feeling 
a part of that thing. You can't just like put yourself out and say, oh, yes, I'm fine. It doesn't work this way. You are, this is a team and, and, and everybody should be feeling concerned. And, and even I can, oh, I will feel like really it will be helpful that they fight in that dressing room. I mean, I, I, it's not acceptable for every player to come up and just like think that it's, it's going to be fine and go into shopping and, and, and do your normal life. No, there is people suffering like fans feel embarrassed right now. It's really, just really bad. Whatever. We can't leave uh, this comment and say Tottenham today has done brilliantly. They've been a killer. They, they take their chances and every player could look and say they had a great game. And to be fair, that's, that's something to, to be addressed. They've they done really well today, but United were just like not bang average. They were really poor. 